Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that I ate in a day as a vegan during the winter time, focusing on some hearty, yummy, and cozy meals. So let's get right to it. So like always, I started out my morning with some tea and today I made my favorite turmeric ginger tea. I make this tea most days. I just love it because it's nice and spicy and warm and cozy. So I brewed up a cup or two of this and I just sipped on this throughout the morning. And then I also took my morning vitamins, which include some B12, D3, and these probiotics from Solarite. Solarite is actually sponsoring this video and I'm really excited to be collaborating with them because they release these new line of microbiome probiotics that are specifically designed for you. So I'm taking the women's formula, which has 24 different strains of probiotics that are specifically designed to help women's health. And another cool thing about these probiotics is that they have an enteric shield, which is unique to Solarite and it protects the probiotics until it gets into your gut. So the bioavailability of the probiotics are higher and you're more likely to absorb all of them. So I've been taking them for the last three months and I've been feeling really, really good. And like my digestion has been really great. And I think everyone can benefit from taking probiotics. There are probiotics found naturally in foods, but these are not as potent as these supplements. So check them out. They will be linked in the description below. And then moving on to breakfast, I made a roasted squash type thing with some granola and yogurt. So I had a bunch of squash in my pantry that I actually needed to use up. So I decided to roast this delicata squash and have it for breakfast. I just scooped out the inside and then sliced it into coins. Personally, I like to eat the squash skin. I think it has a nice like fiber kind of crunchy thing. I don't know if that's just me. Um, so I just wash the squash and then slice it into rounds like this. And I really enjoy actually eating squash for breakfast or like roasted sweet potatoes especially in the winter because I feel like it's nice and warm and hearty so I just lined it onto a baking tray and sprinkled it with some cinnamon and then popped this into the oven for a little bit until it became nice and golden and the squash gets nice and sweet and tender on the inside which is what I love and so yeah I just popped this all onto a plate I ate the whole squash for breakfast because you know, I don't know, it was a tiny squash and I was hungry and I ate all of it. And then I like to dip my squash in some vegan yogurt. So I have some unsweetened coconut yogurt here. And then I also added some chocolate hazelnut granola to this to have on the side, which I actually made this earlier in the week, but I did film it. So I thought I would show you guys how to make it because it's super simple. You're basically just going to take some maple syrup, some vanilla extract, some cacao powder, a little bit of salt and then nut or seed butter here i'm using almond butter but if you want to take things to the next level you could use hazelnut butter that would be even more delicious then you're going to whisk all this together until it becomes nice and thick and evenly incorporated and then we're going to add in our dry ingredients which includes some rolled oats as well as some hazelnuts some pumpkin seeds and some coconut flakes. And the beauty of granola is that you can really use whatever fillings you want as long as you're using the same proportion of dry ingredients to wet ingredients. So I use the pumpkin seeds and coconut flakes, but you could use more hazelnuts or even almonds. Either way, you're just going to mix everything together until it's evenly coated and then spread it onto a baking tray. And I like to line mine with a silicone mat. I do think that helps the granola get a little bit more crunchy. Then you're going to spread it out and put it in the bottom rack of the oven for a few minutes. And then halfway through the cooking time, you're going to pop it out and you're not really going to flip it, but you're going to use the spatula to separate the granola. Just let it breathe a little and then pop it back in the oven and cook it for a few more minutes and it comes out looking nice and golden brown. And then you get to sprinkle on your chocolate, which is um, the best part. And if you want all of your granola to be coated in chocolate, you can mix it up completely. I just wanted it to be a little bit coated. So I mixed it a little and then you're just going to let the granola cool completely on the tray and the chocolate chips will melt first because of the heat from the granola, but then they will eventually solidify and you'll be left with this really crumbly, crunchy and delicious chocolate hazelnut granola that kind of tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. So it's kind of like eating candy for breakfast, but it's healthy and crunchy and delicious. Ooh, pro tip, store your granola in the fridge, it makes it even crunchier. So yeah, back to breakfast. Um, I had some of that granola on the side and I had the rest of my tea and what I like to do is dip the squash in yogurt like I was saying um, but then I also was kind of making these little sandwiches uh, by taking a piece of the granola as well and rolling it up and I know this isn't a conventional breakfast but I think it's really tasty and you guys should totally try it then for lunch I couldn't really be bothered I wanted something quick and easy so I made an avocado toast bagel plus tofu thing I actually think I've put this in a past video but basically we're gonna start out with these gluten-free bagels that I can get here in Portland they're from a company called New Cascadia and they're amazing so I toasted that up and then I've also been obsessed with this sriracha baked tofu from Trader Joe's for like most of 2018 um, 
So I popped that in my air fryer and baked that up till it got nice and crispy. And then I had a sad little avocado in my fridge. There was a little bad part that I uh, took out, but no judgment here. All avocados are still relatively good avocados. And I just mashed that up to create an avocado mash to go on my bagel. So once my bagel was nice and almost a little too toasty, but not quite enough, I uh, put the avocado on top. And then I also topped it with some salt and some black pepper. And then once the tofu came out of the air fryer, I put it on on top like that and then I just eat it like a little sandwich this meal is super fast and convenient and I also had some salad greens on the side I was actually photographing a different recipe for uh, work on that day and I made a salad to go with the dish but I didn't want to throw the salad out so I just ate the raw greens on the side because I didn't want to waste food but the uh, bagel sandwich was definitely the better part of this lunch so let's just focus on that but it was very yummy you guys should try it. the sriracha tofu and the avocado is bomb anyways for dinner I made some lentil bolognese and this recipe is up on my blog the full recipe will be linked below but it is relatively easy to make you're just going to start by adding some water to a pot along with some onion some celery and some carrots and then you're going to saute this over about medium heat until everything starts to soften and become more translucent then once you have your mirepoix which if you didn't know is a combination of celery carrot and onion cooked down we're going to deglaze the pan with some vegan white wine and I use a vegan pinot grigio and if you don't want to use wine you don't have to but I would recommend it it does add a lot of depth of flavor to this recipe and barnivore.com is a great resource for finding a vegan wine if you're curious and then afterwards we're going to add in some diced mushrooms as well as some lentils and then two gigantic cans of crushed tomatoes actually i think they're diced tomatoes um but it'll be in the blog post we're also going to add a little bit of water and then some beef vegetable broth so basically you're just adding beef flavored veggie broth to the mixture but i just knew the broth paste would dissolve so I just added the water and the broth paste separately because I was feeling lazy on this day but you're basically going to mix everything up and then once it comes to a simmer we're going to add in a bay leaf as well as some basil and some parsley and then stir all that goodness in and those are all of the ingredients for our bolognese sauce so we're just going to bring this to a simmer and then let it cook down over about 20 or so minutes and the lentils are slowly going to absorb all of the liquid and thicken the sauce and it's going to become this nice hearty chunky sauce similar to a standard bolognese but there isn't meat in it and we're using lentils instead but last but not least we're going to actually add in some chopped walnuts and this helps to give the bolognese a nice little bite and the walnuts also have some healthy fat in them and traditional bolognese has more fat in it because of the meat too so that's why i decided to add in the walnuts but look at that chunky little delicious sauce this stuff is really good and as you can see it makes a giant vat so you're gonna have leftovers but you can also freeze them but i decided to serve mine with some pasta made from chickpeas i'm using this ziti variety and i just put that into my pot you can also just use regular spaghetti but you know you do you cook it according to the package instructions and one hack that i like to do when i serve my pasta with leafy greens is to actually just put the greens into the colander before I drain the pasta and then the hot water from the pasta will cook the greens and wilt them and you don't have to waste another pot so I'll tang down your spinach or leafy greens or whatever so then I just topped my pasta and greens with a bolognese sauce and then added a little bit more parsley and black pepper to the top of it just to round out the dish and then that was it this meal is very hearty and filling and perfect for a chilly day or just when you want a nice easy cozy meal and like i said it makes a lot of sauce but you can totally freeze the sauce and then reheat it later for easy leftovers and then for dessert i had a random assortment of things i had an apple some more granola actually a different granola recipe for my blog some peanut butter and then i also had a few squares of this dark chocolate i was in kind of a snacky mood and i was getting some work done and i just i wanted a wide variety of things so i think i had the peanut butter with the apple that ate more peanut butter then ate the granola then ate the chocolate you know i was hungry i wanted some snacks these are very satisfying and that's it so here's everything i ate in a day guys thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful let me know if you want me to film more videos like this and also don't forget to check out solar Ray probiotics they will be linked in the description below that's all for now so i will talk to you in the next video bye